Jaden Ballard is a freshman here at Maslin. He plays basketball for the Tigers and he already starts. And his head coach, Michael Cruz, has already put him in rarefied air with a statement that you won't believe. He's got that type of game that once he leaves Tiger Town, you'll be talking about him 20 years after he played here on the hardwood surface. This is Jaden Ballard. This is Behind the Athlete. And I'm John Bazika. Ballard, again, just a freshman, and again, not to be redundant, also a starter, tells us the emotions of being one of those five for the Tigers. It's a privilege to start. It's, I mean, it's not really that, at first it was scary, then the environment started changing. So I wasn't that scared no more. The unique part of Ballard is how explosive he is for being just a ninth grader. He's had some dunks that have changed gymnasiums. He explains the first time he rose above the rim. The beginning of eighth grade, eighth grade, my uh, first game against Green, I just jumped and I dunked it. Coach Cruz is a very lucky man. I'll just let him tell you why. You know, of course, he's very athletic and he can, he can play well above the rim, uh, but he's also got, you know, very strong handles. Um, he can get to the basket. He's a really good jump shooter, three-point shooter. Uh, but at the end of the day, I think what he does best offensively is attack and finish at the rim. Uh, and then defensively, you know, that was something that we really worked on a lot, and he still has a long ways to go. But uh, we think he has a chance to be one of the best two-way players in the state, not just a scorer, and, and also really challenge him to do a better job of getting rebounds. And still not where we want him to be yet, but, but very pleased. Coach Cruz already sees the light at the end of the tunnel for Jaden. He said that he has no doubt that Jaden will play D1 ball in college. Florida, Xavier, Iowa have already all been in contact with me about, you know, wanting to see him more, and especially in the summer. It's, it's tough for them to get down here during the year, of course, because they're still playing. But, uh, you know, they've certainly seen some film on him, and, uh, and we feel like the sky's the limit for him. So uh, the, the nice thing about Jaden, though, uh, above all of his talent, is he's a really coachable kid. He's a great teammate, and, um, and I think that those characteristics, along with all the God-given ability that he clearly has, uh, I'm very much looking forward to seeing him develop over these next four years and, and well beyond. Coach Cruz has also said that staying on Ballard is big in his improvement, and despite his youth, he gets what it will take. I hope I go D1. I have the talent to go D1, so if I just keep pushing myself, then I'll go D1. Ballard's family is all about Maslin. Grandpa, dad, uncle, and even his cousin Anthony all went to Maslin. Ballard is Tiger Town. His whole family has always worn the number 21 too. His dad did it because of the great Deion Sanders. There is a rumor from Coach Cruz that Ballard may switch the number next season because of Kobe Bryant. In the end of the day, there were two things that stood out from Coach Cruz. Just take a listen. Jaden's one of those kids that, that you love to coach. Um, you know, obviously the talent is there, but but again, I can't tell you how good of a kid he is. And and when you have that talent, I, as a coach, you love that because those are the types of players that make you look a lot smarter than you are. So he's the type of guy that can just go make a play when things break down. He can get us a stop. He can get us a rebound. And and like I said, I think the future is really bright for him and and certainly for our team as well. You know, Maslin uh, doesn't have the greatest tradition in terms of basketball, but there's been a lot of great players that have played here, and and we've told him from day one his goal and and his objective and if I do my job and he does his job he should be the best player that's ever played here and one of the best players that's ever played in Stark County. Seems like there's one thing that everyone already knows based on the talent level of Ballard and his confidence once he takes the floor and the way that Coach Cruz thinks of him there's no doubt this kid is going to be talented and set records for the Maslin Tigers. I guess the only piece of advice that I would give you is make sure you come out and see him before the time is too late. For WHBC Sports, I'm John Bazika.